Hi, this is Keith Van Wimmer with Van Tech Consulting, back with another YouTube video. Uh, helpful hint for cleaning connectors. Um, we're going to cover how to clean a connector uh, using some various products. Also, we'll uh, talk a little bit and give you a methodology for cleaning, wet dry cleaning um, connectors when they're in a bulkhead. So, uh, hopefully, we won't have to remove those connectors and, uh, you know, possibly damage the fiber. So, uh, our test bed, we have um, a JDSU uh, T-Bird 2000 with an OTDR module on it, the JDSU P5000i microscope, um, our fiber jumper with a APC connector, a bulkhead, um, some of our cleaning products that we use. Now, just, uh, just as a side note, um, I don't get cleaning products from companies for free. I pay for all my stuff. Everything is um, that we're, we're talking about today is my personal opinion. It's based on experience um, through doing training classes for fiber uh, as well as doing uh, fiber characterization work and uh, working with customers in the field. Um, I found these products, um, it's not an endorsement, but these are, this is my own personal opinion and just what I found works best for me all right so first uh, first thing that I use is um, the Fujikara or Fujikura uh, one click uh, this is my cleaning pen I love these things I find that these tend to um, shed material onto the connector um, less frequently than the other brands so there's there's multiple brands out there whichever one works best for you whatever you have the best experience with is great um, again I like the Fujikura there's Fluke IBC uh, FIS has a has their own house brand you know a lot of different uh, cleaning pens out there so these come in two styles one is the uh, the SC so that the 2.5 millimeter um, uh, ferrule, which is your know, your standard ferrule. They also come in a 1.25, which is uh, for the LC connector. So obviously we can see, get this up here nice and close, we can see the difference um, between the two sizes of connectors. So this is the 2.5, 1.25 form factor. Alrighty, the next thing that we have is a um, uh, put the caps back on here. We have a QBE cube you know this is just uh, for me this is a scrubbing pad so doesn't matter poly water makes one that's about half the half the thickness um, the key point to these is as long as this has a uh, padded surface on it so where you're putting the ferrule on you know as you're as you're scrubbing this and, and using it um, the uh, the padding is protecting the the fiber end from getting damaged um, Again, QBE from Chemtronics. I like this. Um, I've used the uh, the poly water as well with with good results. For my cleaning fluid, uh, we always want to use a fiber optic uh, specific cleaning fluid. I use the Quick Clean fiber optic cleaner from uh, Poly Water. I find that it doesn't leave a residue. It's a pretty nice little uh, the cleaning fluid. Uh, comes in a nice little bottle. Now what I do is I get the uh, big quart size or uh, you know the economy size, and then I just keep refilling this uh, this little bottle. So works pretty good. Uh, next thing in our test bed, what we have is a bulkhead adapter. Um, we have an LC APC um, SC adapt our uh, jumper that we're going to use. An assortment of tips for the uh, 5000i. So a lot of good stuff here. We are, um, I'm remotely controlling the platform through the computer utilizing the uh, JDSU Smart Access Anywhere. I uh, do that so that we can get a, uh, a nice picture-in-picture um, -picture for the video. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and fire this up. And uh, next thing is uh, the um, fiber microscope. So mine is a... Uh, dual magnification it has a button here on the side for magnification um, on the front it also has a button for doing the video capture or changing between the uh, test mode and live view um, just a quick 
point on these uh, on these scopes. Really a nice little scope. What I like about these is the um, the tips are a compression fitting versus utilizing any kind of um, of mouse hole. So basically, they fit on, and as you tighten down this collar, it will tighten the the uh, the tip. What this does for you is allows you to change the aspect of the tip so you can put it in whichever um, aspect is best for your testing situation you know sometimes when you uh, this isn't the bulkhead tip but sometimes when you do a bulkhead you know to get the if your mouse hole and have a keyway you can only put it in one way and, and based on you know fiber management etc it, it's kind of hard to get it in there so you're really jamming it where this would come into play is you could actually take this and rotate the scope and keeping um, the aspect required for the uh, for the bulkhead but rotate the scope around so it fits better into your testing environment it's really a nice little feature um, the other thing that I like about this and we'll kind of get into this uh, a little later is that it will do analysis at lower magnification so um, to illustrate that we'll go ahead and, and just start out uh, on the APC tips, uh, all the manufacturers do something similar, um, if I can find it. On this guy, I don't know if you can see it on here, but there's a little groove right on the top here, okay? And what that groove does is as long as you line that with the, um, the little key on the connector, then we get the uh, end face of the connector parallel with the camera, all right? So, kind of rotate that around, get that lined up. It'll get us uh, get us nice and uh, and centered up. So now what we're going to do is we've got a good high focus on this. So I'll just push the button on the side. It will go into test mode. Um, what I was saying earlier was that the JDSU, unlike other manufacturers, will actually run a test in the low magnification so if you look down in this area here it's on low magnification if we click the button it moves it into high magnification so really nice feature and the reason I like this is um, I like to go out to low magnification and look out here you know so what we're seeing is we have the contact zone this outer blue circle is the uh, 250 micron contact zone and this is where the actual end faces of the connectors align and touch this here is the actual ferrule so if you end up with large chunks of dirt um, and debris out here what can happen is you know if you're in the um, large magnification you're not going to see it as we can see this just shows you you know the, the end face or the uh, contact zone so let's say that off on the side you have a large chunk of dirt well as you're plugging this in you know it passes the test everything looks good you're plugging it into your bulkhead uh, you vibrate a little bit it gets a little shaky you bump and uh, that piece of dirt falls down into the um, into the core zone so that would be bad you know once you plug it in uh, that particle explodes all over the end face and, and causes problems with the network and the circuit. Um, not to mention you can damage your connectors. So good practice is always zoom out. Give this uh, gives us a little looky-loo and see what it says. Um, again, I like to I like to just do that um, as just a uh, little force of habit there. So now we got this. Um, checked out it passed um, but what I noticed was that we have a lot of debris on there and a little more than I like so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, um, clean some of this off if you look you know we got some debris here um, this is the connector you know for example that I'm going to plug into my into my OTDR module so I want to make sure that this is pristine so real easy cleaning with the one click just pop that off give it a, a click even though this will actually rotate around every time it clicks it, it uh, indexes over I'm just uh, I like to move it about a quarter turn give it a second click alright guess I'm double indexing we'll go ahead plug this back in 
we will align the groove looking much better a um, lot of debris is cleaned up let's go ahead we'll take the test I'm certain that we're going to pass again and then uh, nothing out on the shoulders Oh, zone B failed well there you go um, let's go ahead and zoom in on this and see where it failed in zone B and I'm not seeing up oh, right here right there we have a little bit of, uh, of debris right there so we'll give this another cleaning and this folks is exactly why we use the analysis software because it sees things that we typically would not see so let's go ahead uh, get this back into live view all right move that out of the way we'll go ahead and hit the test button see if we get a pass on this and there we go all four zones pass we'll go ahead and uh, and uh, hit the zoom button look out here got no uh, no large pieces of dirt out there so we're good to go we have a pristine connector I would feel very comfortable plugging this into my OTDR um, just to give you uh, a quick note on the zones the A zone is the uh, the core the B zone is the cladding right here the C zone is the epoxy zone where the fibers actually glued in again this is the ferrule way out here um, it's the epoxy zone and then the D zone is um, the contact zone so this tells you where your where your dirt is and uh, where you had uh, where you had a problem so at this point uh, we could do a save get a report for the customer we're going to go ahead now and uh, and kind of look at doing a wet dry cleaning so just a nice little touch and just give it a little little schmutz on the on the uh, connector there and uh, here we go we got kind of a, a nice mess going so let's give it a little let's get this really kind of then we'll take this and touch it on to the uh, onto a, a towel that I have here and see if we can get uh, okay so it's looking pretty pretty gnarly so okay get it in focus come on a little bit of a lag across the network here but uh, we know that this is bad so what we're going to do is assume that this is in a, um, a bulkhead we'll change out our tip real quick to our bulkhead inspection tip loosen up the collar pop that one off pop that on tighten up the collar and there we go so let's uh, just say that we did a cleaning on this and uh, it wasn't satisfactory it didn't get all the dirt so now we need to go to a wet dry well rather than take this you know take the module out of the patch panel take the fiber out of the bulkhead and again you know you're thinking about this that this may actually be uh, uh, 250 micron you know just the the, the uh, plastic coating on there so bare fiber um, pretty delicate so you know you take this out you take the opportunity to actually crack this break it uh, pinch it into the module etc so the less that we have to pull the modules out the better off we are so we tried dry cleaning it wasn't satisfactory the next step according to the IEC um, 61300 or the, the IEC cleaning uh, methodology is to go to a wet dry so if you tried to do um, just dip this down into wet what it would do is that the little uh, filament in here would wick up all of the moisture and get way up here so remember this is coming down off a reel coming around there and coming back onto a collection reel so if the moisture wicked up you would have you know this much of the filament would be wet which means you'd have to click this you know 20 times to get back to dry um, so the way around that in to control that moisture uptake is take your, your uh, spray bottle get your cloth here and give it a couple squirts over in the corner then you take this and just dab it into that moisture okay now what that does is that gets a little bit of moisture on the filament but doesn't 
um, oversaturated. Give it a quick a click. Now we probably have already passed the uh, the wet part, so we'll now into the dry. So you click again, click again. So three or four clicks is sufficient. Um, what I'll do is a uh, as uh, I'm doing this is I'll actually label one uh, one pen as wet only, and that way. I'll change it. I'll go wet and then I'll take the dry pen and do the dry. And that way they I know that when I'm doing the dry on this it's it's actually dry. Okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to pop this in uh to the bulkhead. Now, if you have uh have this aligned in the incorrect uh incorrect fashion, then we will not get a uh get this in focus real quick. We wouldn't see an image here. So just to illustrate that, if I turn that around, our angles are no longer um, aligned. Now you can put this in, well, yeah, you can put it in there um, and it won't work. On the JDSU, there is a, um, on the tip, there is a keyway. I don't know if you can see this. We'll see if we can get this in. But that key on there actually aligns with the keyway on that. So hopefully that will um, eliminate the, the, uh, getting this turned around but uh, if you do get it into a bulkhead the wrong way you're just gonna get the black so there we go it's nice and clean let's go ahead and do our analysis on this I'm gonna say that this one looks like it's gonna pass I don't see any uh, any kind of uh, defects so it does pass um, next step we're gonna go ahead and hit the magnification button look all the way on the outside I don't see any schmutz no dirt no anything so again this um, I would be very comfortable in plugging a connector into this remembering that there are two sides so we're going to go ahead and scope the uh, the end of the patch cable now one of the tricks that we do just so I don't have to keep taking this tip off is I carry around these bulkheads with me okay um, I don't have to change my tip. I can go up into the patch panel, test that one. Then I can put my patch cable that I'm going to plug in into this and test that one. Okay, so makes things a little faster. All you have to do is just keep moving this guy back and forth. So uh, we save time by doing the, by not having to change the tips. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully, um, keeping this one short. You know, I'm. I tend to get a little carried away and wild, so uh, we'll keep this uh, down to a minimum today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free. You got our phone number, you got our email, info at vantech, V A N T E K consulting.net. Send us an email, um, subscribe. We're going to be putting up more videos. Uh, we'll be uh, showcasing other manufacturers' equipment as well as uh, the equipment that I use, which is the JDSU. Um, let us know if there's anything that you want to see if you have questions um, don't understand a process you know feel free drop us a line if uh, if we can answer it in email great if you want to see a video on us let us know and we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can put out a video um, until next time hope everybody stays safe and uh, we'll see you on uh, YouTube take care